Paul Sierra Pioneer. I'm going to give you a quick run through of Record Box 1.1 and the new firmware for the CDJ2000 and CDJ900. Now, this is version 3.0, and I'll be showing you the 2000 today. I won't show the 900 because I had a little problem with it. But uh, currently, when you open up the software, you'll see a couple of new things down the left side here. First of all, tag list. That can either be imported from a device or uh, created within the player in Record Box. And you also see a little link button. Now I'm not going to click that just yet. I want to show you how I have everything connected first. So the only cable I've got plugged in right now, don't even have my power, just the uh, Ethernet cable here, which is connected to a D-Link router. You can use a router, a hub, a switch, whatever you want, wired, wireless. You just have to connect it to the output ports here. Don't use the input port. That's that one there. The black cable then goes down to the 2000. Now currently I've got it in USB mode, and I'll show you why I've left it in USB mode. So I'm playing the track directly off the USB right now. You can see, USB at player one. When you come back up to the software, and you go to link, I'm a little hard time focusing there, but you can see the uh, player icon, player one, with a green play. So even if I'm using uh, a USB source or a CD source, it will monitor the status of the player. Now, it won't show you that mixer icon unless you have a DJM2000 hexed up, but whatever number is beside the player there is the player number that you have assigned it within the, um, within the configuration. So the utility menu will allow you to change that from player 1, 2, 3, or 4. So, now that I've got a uh, player set up in there, let's drag and drop a track right onto that player. So there it is. Source, record box. Shows you there. So it's playing directly out of the software. Now I can take another track and drag it right on top. There is no prevention for me to actually do this. It will not warn you that there's a track currently playing. Now I think that's something that may be fixed, but just be aware. The only time it will warn you is if you were to turn off the link by clicking over here, it actually comes up and says, one or more players are currently playing a track, do you really want to close, disable the link? So just be forewarned. So you can either browse your tracks directly in the software or on the player itself. Oh, I'm in USB here, let's go back over to link, record box. So now I can browse all my tracks the same way as I can in the software. And I can load them up directly through here. Rather than having to go up to the computer. So of course within the 3.0 firmware there's been some updates to the way it displays. Now you can see there's a uh, faster scrolling text. Uh, I don't know if you can tell in the color here but that is actually a dark green. If you add things to, say, your tag list, it gets a red check. If you've already played it, it gets a green check. So when you go to your tag list, record box, no focus, there it is, club therapy. And of course, there's the check mark for my tag, and there's my tag list, showing the one file that I've added there. So everything does work in harmony, it is a fantastic uh, update and I encourage you guys to, uh, to play around with it and if you have any troubles or questions please do pop into the forums and ask and uh, we'll do our best to uh, help you out.